Being an aspiring educator isn't easy. College certainly isn't getting any easier. Mom, 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 mom. Help me, help me. But the journey each of us are taking makes a lasting impact on the educator that we will become. But the world is always changing, improving, learning, and growing. So even if the journey isn't always the same, every current, retired, and aspiring educator is in this together. That's why we, the aspiring educators of NEA today, are here to share our education journey. A week in the life of aspiring educators. My name is Grace Pinto. Miss Everlyn Armidas from the state of Texas. Hannah McCray from Florida. Brianna Ellis and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Derek Sanders from the great state of Tennessee. Bianca from Florida. Caroline Misha and I am from the state of Florida. Kristen Prasenak from Nevada. Stephen Moore from Jacksonville, Florida. My name is Nikki Ruiz from Illinois and I joined education because I know in myself that as a student that went through the public education system, I felt as if my history was never taught. And so I know that as a future educator, I want to ensure that I empower my students by teaching them their history um, with people that look like them in order to showcase their positive contributions to this country. Never forget why you're on this journey. What made you want to be an educator? digital technology and ongoing partnership with community members to create an impactful and meaningful education for our students. Supporting each other is important. What kind of resources have you collected for yourself and your students?
and I am from the state of Florida. I am a deaf aspiring educator who wants to help those who are often silenced and ignored. I use my voice by standing up and speaking out against injustice. What power does your voice have and do you use it? Self-care. My name is Brianna Ellis and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia and I'm graduating from the Alabama State University May 1st and I have my first children's book releasing in the summertime. And for my self-care, I make sure I take the weekends and I join a fun Zumba. A career in education demands time for self-care and in times like this, it's even more critical. How do you participate and promote self-care? This is Derek Sanders from the great state of Tennessee. I currently serve as a vice president for my local chapter of Tennessee State University and also the president-elect at the state level. Today's ongoing challenge on April 24th, my birthday, is Union Fam. Today, we are going to showcase our solidarity, NEA impact, and the connections that we have all made throughout the NEA Fire Educators Program. This is your Union Family. If you have not jumped on social media yet to share your impact as an NEA aspiring educator, today is your day. An educational journey is never traveled alone. So tell us, who are you? We're all listening. <laughs> 